It's time for Better to be Safe, and today's topic is what you and your children need to know about water safety. Here's Marnie Renison. Thanks so much for joining us today, Dr. Beckerman. Absolutely. You know, I think as parents, it's easy for us to forget that even a small amount of water can pose a drowning risk for our children and just how quickly unsupervised kids can drown. That's right. Many parents don't think about it, but there are water hazards all over the house, from diaper pails to mop buckets, even coolers. Toilets and bathtubs are also a significant drowning risk. So make it a habit to empty all those containers, drain the tub, and uh, close the toilet lid after you use it. So even a small amount of water really can pose a risk. That's right. It's very important to supervise young children, especially under the age of six, around these kinds of water hazards to make them impossible to get into. Because keep in mind that a child can drown in the time that it takes to answer a telephone call. Wow, that's really sobering. Yeah. Yeah, so what else can we do to make sure that our kids are safe around water? If you think of one of the biggest water hazards, like bathtubs, mm -hmm. uh, most of us would never leave an infant unattended around a bath, but this really should go for children aged two to five as well. Always make it a habit to be close to your child while they're taking a bath. And toilets are a hazard too. A child can lean forward and fall in and potentially drown. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's always important, if you're gonna be leaving the bathroom for any reason, take the child with you. Right, or bring the phone in if you have a mobile phone right. or a portable phone or something like that. Something I like to do is I like to shut the door when it's not being used, just for extra safety. That's a great idea. And also take the toys out of the bathroom because your child will want to go in there if there's still toys left over after the bath. So you can even make it a fun activity to clean everything up before you leave the bathroom. Well, I like the cleanup part. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Those are great points. Thanks. So you mentioned water coolers. That's a really good point. I never thought about that before. Water coolers and those other sources of water that I mentioned, it's always good to empty them when you're done using them. Mm -hmm. Kids love to play in water, and they will find a way to get into it if it's available. So that's why we recommend something called touch supervision. It's the idea that for children of the ages of two to five, that you always keep them within an arm's length when you're around water, whether you're inside or outside and always empty the, empty the container or get rid of the hazard when you're done. Thank you so much, Dr. Beckerman, for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Certainly learned a lot. Just to summarize, these are three things that I learned today. Number one, stay with your children when they are in the bathroom. Number two, make it a habit to always empty water from containers after use. And number three, stay within an arm's reach when your child is in or near water.